That's different. So Judas wasted people's time. That's different. Hmm? Now I want to talk to you about how we talk, how we speak as coaches. And we have a, a rule which isn't, I haven't seen yet, since I've been there, I haven't seen it yet. But we have to be called a praise girl. I'm not the greatest uh, of uh, artists, but uh, we're going to try. Uh, let's start by the top. Uh, we'll have a little bit of lettuce. We will have a nice burger. Oh, I love my burgers. Love it. Uh, yeah, a burger. And then we'll have our sausage. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, that's our burger. That's our burger. You all know what I'm saying? Our burger is, right? So we have our burger top, our lettuce, the burger itself. Uh, yeah, the tomato, yeah, whatever you put on it, and then your burger on the right? your, your burger bun at the bottom, yeah? Okay, so, in a minute, you want to continue to write down for me, how do you think a coach speaks their place? Okay, and this group will go first. Two minutes, go, go, go. <laughs> So you've seen how our coach should talk to their players. Mm -hmm. Of a conversation. 
a way a coach should talk to a player, a group. So how does the conversation start? The two big pieces of uh, bread. What are they going to be? What do you think? Please draw this down because I want you to, or record this on your phones or whatever you want to do. Take pictures, whatever. Because this is a very important part of your ideology, not just as, not just as coaches, but as people. As people in the community, working with some difficult people at times, huh? you have to get this message. This is the this is the real messaging you're trying to get through. Huh? That is the real message. But with our friend we saw in the video, that was his message from the start. Hmm? You will never make it. You are a failure. That was his phrase, but there was no phrase whatsoever. It was just the me. Hmm? So, what can we start with here? Phrase. Yeah? Who agrees with phrase? Who thinks it's something else? So, okay. So, we start here with the word encouragement. So, we encourage. And then, what's this called here? The middle part. The meat of it, the meat of the conversation, the real, what really matters. What do we call this? The meat, but what do we call the meat? We've just spoken about it, so we've, break, we've encouraged the it's person. Discipline. It's the discipline. Yes. The constructive criticism. We always heard the word constructive. What does constructive criticism mean? I hear people talk about it all the time. Yeah, I just give you constructive criticism. What does it mean? Construct. What does construct mean? To build. To put together. Now, I have a problem personally with constructive criticism. Hmm? Coming from somebody who's never made, built anything. Huh? How can you be criticised by somebody who's not done something? It's a bit difficult. It's like you've been flying a plane for 20 years, and the person has never ever even decided to get on an aeroplane, let alone fly a plane. Well, I don't like the way you fly that plane. Who are you? Who are you to criticize me? And you've never flown a plane, I've been doing this 20 years. Who are you? You never got on a plane, you never, you don't know what it's like to be in a plane, you don't know what it's like the responsibility of having passengers on, having to take that plane in the air, land that plane, go through turbulence sometimes when you're on a plane, and you have to guide them through and land every time.